Hey, everybody. Hey there. How's it going? Welcome to uh, the, the first episode of the Dinkle Schmo Rogan uh, experience for uh, those uh, those people on Earth, huh? Uh, yeah, it may, might be. I uh, could have swore we did another one, though. Well, this is like the the, the the first sponsored one, you know. We have we have a lot of episodes on uh, on our home planet, huh? Eh, hey, yeah, fair enough. Don't so, think about it like that. Are you uh how you how you feeling, Louie? I'm a I'm a bit nervous. I I'm I'm not gonna beat around the bush here, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got that right. This is a uh, quite the antsy situation. It's difficult getting to it's new like, things, meeting new people, everything like that. They're like uh their culture is uh totally different from ours, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. It's also a lot bigger. Everything a is lot bigger. Of, a lot of yeah, our our planets are our humble little uh home planet of ours is uh more uh more a bit compact. Uh, more compact, yeah. How is uh how is everybody in the chat doing, huh? Hmm. I uh our uh, our sponsor uh market uh they, they wanted to uh make things a bit more spicier. They had the uh, they had some of their viewers uh Ask some questions. I'm on fire. Uh, is, is that normal, Louie? For people uh, to no, uh, no, I've, I've be been on fire? Or is that a, uh... Yeah. Being on fire, that ain't a normal thing. I don't know what's up with that guy. They're just kind of... Uh, a, a little... I don't know how to say it. A little feisty, huh? I was going to say out there, but that works too. Do you think that... Uh, do you think they might... Uh... Louie, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. So, uh, the, 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 it's the red Pikmin, right? The, those are the ones immune to fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you, do you think they might, uh, know how to talk to us? Like, use computers and stuff? You think, do you think Rice Loser might, uh, be a bit of, a like a little, a little guy? Okay, little yeah. I, uh... No, absolutely not. I, I, I love Pikmin, but very few of them are intelligent enough to even understand what I was saying when I was down there. Much less use technology. It just uh, it boggles the mind, you know. But someone's on fire. Uh, I, someone get an extinguisher. So uh, let's uh, go through some of the questions. We got one question on Twitter here. Uh, I don't have that open right now. My assistant didn't help me at all. Uh, in the Discord chat, in Orchid's Discord, uh. Milk Can Two Hundred asks if you had to eat a big sandwich for the rest of your life or a big sub, uh, what would it be, huh? Oh, I pull up the question on Twitter here. I'll let you answer that, Louis. I gotta be honest with you. There is no, there is no better, better thing to put on a sandwich than uh, I'm forgetting the name. Uh, it was one of those things that I found back on. Uh, one of the other planets we were exploring. Uh, oh, damn it. What was the name of it? Look, I, think. I love me my subs from Subway. Louie, what's Subway? Chad chat is, right. chat is saying, well, Subway, what is, uh, what is that? That's a, that's a place where you order food down there, you know, a restaurant. Oh, oh, like a, like a diner, huh? Yeah, you, 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 you walk your, in. Get your gabalugu yeah. on, huh? You walk in, you buy a sandwich, and you watch him make it in front of you, pretty much. Oh. That's, uh... Did the Pikmin have this? Did did, did people on, uh... ENF-404 have this? Uh... They were... They were big ones. Uh, yeah. They, they were much bigger than us. We couldn't really use them, because they were... Too large for people of our stature, but uh, the the Pikmin they clearly didn't use them either. I mean, they were also way too small. Oh, well, you're Couldn't saying the uh, the Pikmin didn't have any uh restaurants like this either, huh? No little like uh micro restaurants, or I guess not macro. To us, we're just normal size, huh? Yeah. Uh a big sandwich, huh? Well, I'm quite partial to, uh, you know, uh, you know, cranberry bread? 
Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I, I'm not familiar. It's like uh, it's like bread with uh, cranberries in it, you know? I, I like that with a nice slab of uh, turkey and Swiss. Would I eat a huge one for the rest of my life? I don't know. But, uh, I, I've also had a... Have you ever heard of a, a, a an everything bagel? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that... Uh, sandwich but it's it's got everything on it uh i was talking to my friend fred uh they they work at a a, a little bagel diner uh down the street from here and, and i i go up to him i ask uh what uh fred what's the uh what what's the everything bagel it does it does it really have everything and, and he explained to me that uh it doesn't have everything i was i was confused like it, it doesn't have like uh well, well like Louie, how would you define everything? Everything like like is what uh, it's an everything it's bagel would have was. everything, right? It it would be all that ever was, all that is, and all that will be. That's everything. Fred uh Fred showed me one of these and it didn't it didn't seem to have a whole lot. It had like cheese and meat, but that uh I didn't I didn't see too much of everything, you know. I still tried it. It was, uh, it was, it was pretty good. But uh, I'm, I'm quite, uh, how do I, quite mildly disappointed that uh, it, it didn't have everything, you know. I feel like uh, I was a bit scammed. Oh, I just remembered. I just remembered. Okay, the the thing I was I was I was talking about it earlier. Uh, the. The there's a couple of things, okay. And if I had to have a sandwich, only one sandwich for the rest of my life, I would take two slices of bread from the bread bugs over where we were exploring. Wait, wait hold on. The the, the bread bugs? Huh? I, I, you I, remember I, what a bulb bulb is, right? A bulb bulb. You, you remember that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the bulb bulb. But I've never uh, I've never heard of a bread okay. bug. So Did think you, about uh, that. In? But it's bread. It's the bulb orb, but it's made of bread. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, walk. Uh, walk me through the steps here. How does a how does a bulb orb bread? I'll be perfectly honest with you. I have no idea. That's that's crazy, Louie. That's preposterous. How can a how can a bulb orb be bread? How can bread walk around? I don't... Huh. I don't understand how it works either, but just... It's quite an alien world you've been it, to. It's made really? out of bread, but... I mean, it looks like it's just a shell, but when you, like, cut into it, that's its body. That's so you, just so the you, body. So you tried one of these bread bugs, huh? That, uh, tastes like our bread? It does, but it's better. It's... I don't know how to describe it. I'd say sweeter. It just works. Todd Howard. Lily, who is Todd Howard? That is uh, quoting a Todd Howard. You, you, I have never heard of that man in my life, but I can only assume that they're a celebrity over there. Ah, I, I see. Uh, well, you're quite the celebrity, too, huh? They, uh, they, they have, they made these, like, uh, they, they, they made these video games based on you, huh? Based on your adventures. Yeah, let's go with that. And uh, I think they have a they have a new one coming out, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about it. I actually, uh, I I reached out to my assistant. I reached out to Orchid as well, see if we could uh, get any uh, inside footage on this. And uh, I I do have a uh, video that I wanted your thoughts on. It's the uh, how how do you put it? The uh the the first presentation, the uh, the trailer, I think. If you, if you would like to uh, I, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it, and I I'll be honest, I haven't uh I haven't uh a gander at it either. All right, can I finish talking about my sandwich? Real oh quick, yeah, though? oh yeah, oh yeah. So gotta say, gotta say, I absolutely love the bread bug bread. That bread is so good. If I had a sand if I could only eat one sandwich for the rest of my life, it'd have to be from that thing. 
It's uh can you describe the uh the taste? I, again, it's like our bread, but sweeter and a softer texture. It is an amazing thing. You gotta try it sometime, Dinkle. Well, that, well, uh, I'm not I'm not too quite of a uh, a space explorer. I'm not too much of a uh, what you guys have a uh, word for it, right? A, a space sailor. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, too uh, an astronaut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I I never really uh, subscribed to the idea of uh, going to space, huh? No, you're saying there's something wrong with my profession? No, no, no. I yeah, I just think that uh, you know, the the suits that they uh manufacture there. As you might know, I'm a bit uh, I, I'm a bit on the the towering side. You know, uh, I I can't really fit in them. And I'll be Dinkle. honest. Huh. Dinkle, look at me. I'm, look at I'm, me. Look, I'm looking two at you. Two seconds, Dinkle. Do you, do you see? How big I am, Dinkle. Uh, yeah, you're a bit of a you're you're a bit of a uh, uh, how how do I uh, yeah Bet. well I wouldn't put it that way. Bet. Dinkle, I, I get it. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Of a, I know. A, yeah, Louis. Yeah, uh, uh, I noticed that uh, your shirt. It's a uh, it's a how do I put this? It's a bit of a it's Rushed. a bit it's a bit moist. What? There's a there's like a uh, there's a puddle on your shirt, Louis. Oh, I uh, I, is I that, actually is don't that know hot, that I is, is it hot in here? We have uh, the uh, the AC yeah, on. I feel all right. I don't know what's going on actually. You're just a bit of a you're you're a bit wet. Is all I'm saying. You know. How I uh, where were we, Louis? We were talking about the, the, the bread bucket. The bread bucket. I wanted to ask: uh, Is it all bread, or is there like some uh, like uh, like other parts? Like, is it meaty? Is it like a bit of a juicy, like a bug, or is it just all bread? Well, if you cut in the wrong spot, you're gonna get some of the organs in there with the bread, which isn't as uh, isn't as tasteful. Well, you can make do, right? Yeah, but uh, it has a head and some legs. You know, those aren't bread. Those are meat. And I got to say, the meat, it tastes rancid. It's horrid. Never do that. Never eat it. It is a horrible thing. So the bread bug, it, uh, it, it really only subscribes to being bread, huh? Not much else. At least when it's on your plate, yeah. But I, uh, could I, could I uh, tr stray a bit off topic here? I wanted to ask, what is this... Uh... What does this bread bug do exactly? Like, how does it, uh, how does it, uh, thrive? Huh? I'll be 100% honest with you. I didn't pay enough attention when he, when Olamar was fighting those things, because I'll be honest, I, I, I didn't fight that thing. Uh, Olamar did. I don't know what it does. You just, uh, you just, uh, took care of the scraps, huh? Yeah, I'm, uh, I actually, I think, uh, you said something about tug of war. So I can only assume that's something to do with it. Olam are you telling me Olamar played tug of war with it? I I think so. It it doesn't sound too uh, hostile, huh? If it's uh playing playing party games with Olamar. Yeah, not really. Huh. It it, it sounds quite childish. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, what else? What else is on this uh, bread bug sandwich of yours? You have no idea. The the armored cannon beetle. I tell you. Yeah, yeah. It's got that tough armor on the outside, but it it shoots stuff out of it. I forget what exactly. An At least armored, I think it does. An armored cannon beetle. Armored cannon beetle, huh? So is it like a bug? About our size? Uh, no, it's uh, it's pretty big. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, are, are you saying the uh the insides of this uh beetle are like collectible, right? Oh, absolutely. Especially in like the mouth area. If you get like the meat 
from the inside of its mouth, I tell you, that shit is delicious. So you, uh, what do you do to prepare this? Like, it's a, it's a giant beetle, it's full of armor, do you have to, like, uh, kind of scrape the goods out? I, I'm sorry, that's, that sounds a bit, I, 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 no, I, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, so we got the bread bug bread, we've got the arm, the, what was it called? The armored hand beetle? The oh, armored cannon beetle. Right, right, right. And I, uh, anything, uh, anything else, huh? <clears throat> Honestly, I, I, I hated these things, but if you, if you can manage to get it dead, then it's quite a good meal. The, the yellow Wally Wog, that, that was the name of it. The yellow? A yellow wally walk. So it was like a. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not too familiar with the, the wally logs. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it to you. It's not like anything we have over here. Are you familiar with some of the, the the, animals on this earth place? I I am I am I, I I've got I've done a little bit of research, huh? Uh, have you ever heard of a frog? Hey, that's the uh, that's the little guy with the uh, he's he's like a little green guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Most of them are green. Some of them are like blue and red and whatever, but that doesn't matter. They jump around all the time. It's like that, except it's really big. It looks kind of like a bus. A bus? Uh, is this the uh, the yellow one specifically, or are they they're like uh, other kinds? Well, I guess um, I, I'd say the yellow one specifically. It's a it's a pretty tall thing. I right? see. It's not like standing up. It's got it's got its legs, which are really short, and it's got its body, which is basically all just one big head, and its body is just really tall for some reason. Ah, I I, I see. It's got these big old eyes. It's mostly yellow with like green on the top. It's got a couple like green spots on the side. I tell you, <laughs> you put some of that thing, especially like the legs. The legs are real good on that. But if you can, if you can throw some of that on there, and some almond, uh, almond cannon beetle and the on the bread bug bread. And honestly, you just got to get a little bit of sauce. It doesn't matter where. You just got to put any sauce on there. Uh, I am, are you, uh, uh, any favorites? Are you uh, partial to anything in particular? I'm not sure. I'd say, uh, honestly, it doesn't matter. But there's this, uh, there's this, uh, what is it called? There's this sauce over there on the on Earth. They have some amazing sauce out there, and I've had some imported imported over here from time yeah. to time. And I gotta say, you throw some honey mustard on that stuff. Ah, honey so mustard. Wet. That uh, sounds quite delectable, huh, honey? Never called me that again. No, I yeah, uh, I was uh. Referring to the, uh, the, the, the honey mustard. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think it actually has honey in it. I might be wrong on that one, but I don't think it's actually got any honey in it. Uh, so it has, uh, it, it would be, uh, uh, what was it called? Mustard. Mustard? What, yeah. What, I, what is that? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I just know honey mustard tastes good on that sandwich, and it is some of the most delectable shit I have ever tasted in my life. That sounds uh, that's that sounds like quite the uh, delicacy, huh? Absolutely. So uh, you said you uh, imported these, huh? Imported some of these. I mean, yeah, of course. Why not? Uh, are any of these ingredients uh, 
difficult to uh, get your hands on here, huh? At times, at times. I would imagine the uh, the armored uh, cannon beetle might be a bit uh, of a hassle to import. Oh yeah, the the cannon beetle is uh, is real rough. Um, trying to get the uh, trying to get the the bread bug in is pretty simple because it's basically like it's just bread, right? It's just it's bread with that just importing bread. You're you just you're just importing bread. That's it. So, uh, quick, quick the, question, quick cue. Does uh, you you know how uh, bread gets uh, it, it gets a little of a bit of a green stale. thumb at times. Get a little what at times? It's a little of a green with envy. If you uh, know what I mean. You mean moldy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. does uh, the do bread bugs uh get moldy? Well, not when they're alive. So you're uh, saying when they're uh, when they've uh, been taken yeah. care of, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The corpses do mold. Have you like, ever? Uh... Uh, I hate to ask, but have you ever uh, accidentally uh, taken a bite out of these uh, green with envy red bugs? Like you uh, take a nice big chomp, and uh, you just see a little bit of a uh, little bit of green spores. I yeah. Can, can we not talk about this? That was oh, it. yeah. I I I, I apologize, Louis. That was um not an experience I'd like to really riff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We live twice, Almighty. Ripping over your tongue there, huh, Louis? Yeah. Thank you for the question, Milk Can Two Hundred. Uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier, there's uh there's some uh, footage of this uh, new uh, this new game. I I don't know if it has you in particular in it, but it's like a, it's like how uh, it, it's like how in Star Wars they have like different protagonists or whatever. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So if you if you don't mind, I will just throw it up real quick, and I I, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I, yeah, I yeah, of hear course. There's new discoveries and such. Have you seen this uh, rocket before? That's a rocket, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, and that's the uh, that's BNF, right? Uh, it might be. There's a lot of similar looking places. I would assume it's got a pick on it. Yeah, probably considering. Louis, Louis, what game. is Louis? What is that? That's that's massive. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, like that's about what the stuff on Earth is sized like. What? It's like such. It's such intricate design. I don't understand what 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 is you that? Sit Louis? on those. The big people sit on those. The big people, huh? Yes, yeah, the big people. Do you know what it, do you know what it's called? Uh, I assume a bench. A, a I mean, bench. Yeah, they 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 call it a bench at least on Earth. I don't know about the people over there. Ah, huh. I I you, see, you, I see. You never know; they might have a different dialect. Oh yeah. That's the uh, that's the thing we uh, that you told me about before, right? The uh, the fiery blowhog. The fiery, the fiery blowhog. Yes, uh, that's the uh, the one that spews fire, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you think that uh, that might be uh, why Rice Loser in the chat might have been on fire? You think that I they uh got ambushed by a fiery blowhog? Not on Earth, no. All right, so you're not on Earth. I, 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 I see. I get you. I guess that makes sense. Oh, those are those are a uh, few little birdies. Baby huh? snagrits. Those are those are baby snagrits. Hey, look... are the snagrits are an interesting little thing. Uh, they they look quite cute. I, I I'm sure they're friendly, right? Uh, probably not, considering the fact that their parents are uh, dangerous. They they, they 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 like to uh, be a little rough, huh? Oh, not even. 
garbage uh, trick. I mean, no, I just mean uh, snagwits. They're uh, very hostile creatures. Oh, oh. Not, a, not a great thing to be around. They're like, uh, they're like uh, hoodlums, right? They're like uh, delinquents. Mm, less like delinquents and more like racists. Uh, oh. Violent racists against anything that is not a snagret. E even the babies? Are, are you saying that these cute little these cute little birdies are, are racist? Probably racist. Dang. I mean, I don't know. That's I haven't horrible. really I've never really seen a baby one before. I didn't even know they came out of the ground. Did they come from the ground? Uh most of the time snagrets of uh the the blue variety they tend to be uh, uh underground creatures. I, I see, and they 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 come up or uh the 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 blue ones yeah they they come up they come out of the ground they oh. like poke the head out poke the neck out and start pecking at things. You, I just uh, you uh, I never huh. I, I hate to interrupt, but uh it it, it it's bugging my mind. I wanted to ask, have you ever uh been pecked by one of these? Oh yeah, plenty of times. Oh, that's, that's horrible. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Yeah, it, it fucking hurt. I tell you. I, I I'm a bit curious. Uh, have you ever seen one of? Uh, I just noticed this uh, giant giant uh, structures in the back. Have you ever uh, seen those on yeah, your travels? Yeah, they, the big people they live in those. It's a house. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Uh, in Olimar's logs, it, it never mentioned anything like these, I, so I was just, I was just well, curious. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've known about Earth for a while, for the most part, living situations and stuff like that, of this kind of... But this is PNF 404. Yeah, good point, but like... I, I, I mean, are you saying they didn't mention uh... it, but like, you know, I mean... To us, when we went out there to those other planets, everything was new, everything was different, everything was strange, but, like, by the time we came back, Earth and stuff like that, they'd already been discovered, so, you know, releasing our information on that wasn't yeah. exactly anything useful, or even revolutionary by that point. I see. I, I, I see. Oh, there's the... Uh, the rocket. Oh, hey, hey, I, uh... I didn't get to finish what I was saying earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I wanted the, the, the snagrits. Uh, the snagrits, yes. The, the, the odd thing is, I'd never seen a baby one in all our time out there. I'd, I'd never seen a baby. Not a single baby snagrit. I assumed they lived underground. Do you, uh... I, I mean, now that you've uh, seen them, right? Do you, uh, do, do you find them cute? Would you, uh... Would you ruffle one up? Would you pet one? Uh, I... I'd say they look cute, just objectively, but, I mean, I, I would not want to go near one. Those, those things hurt you a lot. Do you think their it, parents are uh, a, 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 a bit, uh, they like to play by the book, they're a bit protective, right? Probably. I would like, assume that, so. That would, uh, that would make sense. I, uh, my old pops was protective as well. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Louis, do you, uh, do you know who that is, by any chance? Hmm. I, I talked to him in high school. Ah, I, I, I see. They, they look like a, they look like a bit of a nerd, if I'm, uh, being honest. Nah, he's kinda dumb. The, uh, that, that, that's, that, that's the red Pikmin, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the red Pikmin. Right, right, right. And it, and these are all red Pikmin, right? Uh, no, not all of them. They, they, they all look red to me. Well, thank you, that's because we tell us red. Oh, oh. Uh, they're, they're get quite strong, huh? What the? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on that, hold on that. Huh? Did you see that? See what, would you like me to, uh, just the, uh, yeah. rewind key? Yeah. No, that was a bit too much, but whatever. It'll be fine. I, uh... And while we're waiting, while we're waiting on it, just so you know, if you want to tell the difference between them without being able to see color, you can look at some of the, the traits on their body, like uh, 
Like the yellow Pikmin, they have ears. Oh, yeah. The, the blue ones, they don't have an ear or a nose. And the red ones, they have noses. Why don't they, uh, why don't they just call them nose Pikmin, huh? Ear Pikmin. Because... Yeah, that's just... real, uh, that's, uh, real inconsiderate of, uh, people who are a bit, uh, they, they, their eyes, uh, they don't really like to, uh, subscribe to sightseeing and all that much in that particular, uh, range of light. Dinkle, think about it like this. The colorblind, they're few and far between, at least compared to people with normal eyes. You know, that's a, that, 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 that's a, but there's, a, bit, there's really. a, there's a reason, there's a reason that it's done like that. Okay. Dinkle, Dinkle. I wasn't the one who named them, but I do understand why they were named that way. So okay. You, uh, so it was, uh, Olamara. Schmuck. Listen, okay. I, I it just give it some thought, Dinkle. Okay, you can't just expect everybody to be able to know which one has a nose or which one has ears or which one doesn't. I mean, there, it's right all there. All the time. Well, I mean, yeah, but when you look at them from a distance, it's hard to tell. And not only that, if you look at them from behind, the only one you're going to be able to tell apart from the others are the winged, the rock, the... Oh, that uh, even colors, Louie. I, I don't understand. Well, yeah, because They're those named ones after have... colors, except for I, I, I would assume that one is uh, winged and the other is a rock, is rock or something. Yeah, because they're not just only named after colors, Dinkle. Well, they're th named after they're named after what is vi immediately visually apparent, no matter what I... angle you look at them from. Ah. Uh... Because if you, if you look at a yellow Pikmin from the side, you're not really going to be able to see the ears. You're just going to see that it's yellow. Because the, the ears will be pointing at you. It might be hard to tell. If you look at a, at a blue or a red Pikmin from behind, you're not going to see the nose nor the lack of nose. So the only way to tell them apart is the color. I, that, that still upsets me a bit, Louie. But uh, I, uh, I understand. You see, this is uh, why I kind of don't want to go to space. Uh, there, might, there might be colors that uh, I just don't know about. Yeah, I, I get that. So, uh, what was it you were looking for? That, that, absolutely that. Did you, did you see it? Yeah, they, uh, oh, they, 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 they kind of... They walked up a wall. They, they walked up a wall, right. A completely vertical plane, and they are walking on it. It seems to me. Are you sure they're not climbing up it, Lily? Are they? I mean, I see little uh, little bulges in the wall, Lily. Oh shoot, they are. Did you um, think that they uh they had a uh, some sort of ability? I don't know what I thought they had, but it looked like they were just walking up it because I. I wasn't too close, so I just saw the, I just saw the top of the head pointed at the screen, and I assumed they were, you know, walking. Is that is that something you would like to do, Louis? Uh, walk up a wall? I mean, it would be convenient in some situations, but not particularly. I was just confused. Like if there was like a big cake on top of a building, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess so. And, uh, what are, what are they collecting right here, Louis? Uh, those are called binoculars. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Louis, do you know what this is? Uh, actually, I, I heard about it a few times, but I it's never, like a, never... It's, yeah, it's like a, it's like a red pigman, but it's, like, it looks, like, a bit more jagged. I'd say it looks a little more like a like a rock Pikmin. Well, I, I I can't tell. They're all the same color to me, anyways, Louis. Rock Pikmin, you can you can tell without the color. Dinkle. Yeah, but if if this one also looks like a rock Pikmin, how do you tell it's not a rock Pikmin? A slightly different shape. But they're the like, same color. Uh, no, they are different colors. What? So this one, so the rock, 
Pikmin are, uh... The rock Pikmin are black or gray, something in that area. And these ones are red. These ones are not red, Dinkle. You're just colorblind. All right. These ones are blue. And what did it say they were called? Ice Pikmin. Pikmin. So it's like, uh... Like, uh, vanilla ice? Uh, no, like the, the frozen I've, I've been doing my I've been doing my, uh, research on the pop culture on Earth, and, uh, I, I, I know vanilla ice is pretty popular, so if you think these, uh, Pikmin are like that? No, it's like the frozen water, which is called ice, Dinkle. That seems a bit too, uh, simple of an answer, Louie. Are you, are you sure? I am certain. Alright, well, I, I will have to take but, your word for uh, it. You're the astronaut. It, I'm not sure if you can tell, Dinkle, from the angle right here, but just uh, just immediately off the top of my head what I saw, that the difference between this and the Rock Pikmin, the, the difference you could see, is uh, this one, it's got a much more defined body. It's head and it's torso, very distinct. Like yours. Compared to Rock Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, the the rock Pikmin, on the other hand, no head, no torso. It all just kind of melts into each other. So you you just see they're they're, one... they're a bit rotund, huh? Yeah, you just you just put eyes on a rock and give it a couple limbs, and bam, rock Pikmin. Oh, you're saying I could uh make a rock Pikmin in my home? Uh, no. Well, I mean, you could make something that sure as hell looks like one, but. Uh... It ain't gonna get up and walk away. Well, that's good. I could have, uh, I could have a little friend. Uh, it, it's not exactly gonna do much of anything, Dinkle. Uh, well, you, you said the the rock Pikmin. It's a, it, it's a bit simple. I mean, yeah, it's simple. But I mean, rock Pikmin are still living creatures. It's it, it's not like slapping some googly eyes on a rock. I, <laughs> I said rock by accident. It's not like slapping some googly eyes on a sock and putting it in your ha putting your hand in it and then just saying, oh, whoa, it's new friend. I mean, it's a it's a sock pikmin. That's not a thing that exists. I was just Are you, are, are, are you sure? Oh yeah, I I know. It, I, I've, I don't think uh, Olimar ever uh, made any notes on the ice pikmin. How can you be so sure that uh rock pikmin don't exist, huh? Well, I mean, if they do exist, they're sure as hell not any, not anywhere near us. Because I mean, I had at least heard of the ice Pikmin, and I mean, I didn't believe people who told me about it. You heard them. it down thought, the grapevine, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought, it was, uh, I thought it was a hoax, but I mean, thought it was uh, see, fake news, huh? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, as we can see now, it clearly it, it's not. Uh, I I can only uh hope that uh I'm proven right one day. They uh have sock pigment. I, that would really show you, Louis, huh? You know what? Yeah, yeah, it would. I'd be happy for you. I like the little number that one just did. What was that? I like the little number that one just did. The little oh yeah, wide it's a bit of a. It's got a bit of a happen. jig, huh? Yeah, it's very expressive. I it's like a little that. hop to it. It's got a little skip to its uh walk, huh? Yeah, yeah. And this is, uh, oh my, oh my god, they're, oh my they're, god. They're, they're taking good work of that, uh, bread bug, huh? That was not a bread bug, but it, it's fine. Oh, that's a bread bug, right? That, that's a dog. That just looks like a dog. That's a, a dog, huh? I mean, it looks like one. I don't know, what it, like, it kind of looks like a bread bug from what you described it. How does that look like bread? It looks like a, it looks like I got an eye, uh, a nice lemon bread, huh? At that point, it just looks like a lemon. I suppose you're right. Uh, do you know any of these people? I, uh, um, I haven't quite uh, I heard them around the block, huh? Again, the redhead over there, I uh, met, met that guy in high school. Look, uh, look their, uh, their outfits matches yours, huh? Let's not talk about that. Um, the other guys... No, no, like, your shirt's the same color as theirs. Oh, that's what you mean. Uh, it, it, no, no, it's it's not, Dinkle. Ah. Huh. Again, you're, you're colorblind. 
you, you really got to get used to that, Dinkle. It's a struggle. Honestly, though, uh, oh, oh, oh. what is that dog doing? It's gonna kill all those Pikmin. No, not not if they stay on its back. Really? I think well, I, I, mean... I, I think I just saw the. Uh... Oh wait, that's the bread bug right there, huh? In the back. No, that's the that's the uh, yellow uh, Wally Wog. Oh. So, uh, it, it does look like a... It, it does look tasty, huh? Yeah, it's, a, it's good I mean, stuff. It also looks a bit slimy. I, I, uh, I don't know. That's why you don't take the skin. The skin oh. is not very delectable. I, I, I see. Is... <laughs> I'd almost describe it as mushy. I see. I see. Oh, they they, oh, whoa. they... they found a body, Louis. I found a body. And what? What is that thing? I, have you seen any of these before, Lily? Uh. Oh no! We oh, can't I've show seen that one. Oh no, no, we can't show that. Uh, skip that. The shell is got inappropriate content, Lily. Well, I mean, listen. If you go out on foreign planets, you're bound to see something disgusting. I, I, I suppose you're right. I, I suppose it's educational. Right, yeah. I, uh, I, I hope we get take. Uh, I hope we don't get taken off the air. Yeah, me too, Dinkle. That was uh, that was the trailer. Oh. Well, well oh, what's what's right going on here, Louis? Right oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was that frightened me, Louis. Why'd you do that? That's what they do at night. Are, are you sure? That's, that, that looks like, uh, the, the, surely that's fake news, right, Louie? No. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry to tell you, Dinkle, but there, uh, there's some dangerous stuff out there. And at <laughs> night, it only gets worse. I see, uh, what, what did you, what did you, uh, think of that, uh, footage, huh? <sighs> you feeling sleepy? Generally? No, no, I'm sorry. It's... It bore you? No, no, I just yawn sometimes. I can't really control it. I, I see. But, uh, yeah, the, honestly, it's good to see the guy out there. I, I don't like him. He's not exactly the moral, at least the most moral out of everybody. He's, he's done some uh, questionable things. But yeah. Uh... What do you what do you I mean, mean by that? Uh, is it safe to say has. here? Um, Dinkle, I don't know how to tell you this. Hit me with it, Louis. Dinkle, he's a bit of a slut. Uh, uh what? Do you, huh? I'm Louis. saying that the guy sleeps around a lot. You you've said this about. Uh, other people before, Louis. You've, uh, you, you've, uh, you, a while back, you said this about, uh, Captain Charlie and, uh, people of Copai weren't, uh, they weren't, uh, too happy about that, huh? Well, you can't, I, you can't keep throwing around these, uh, slander claims. Okay, don't, don't, don't get my words mistaken. I wasn't saying that Charlie was doing things with other I've, people. Uh, I, I've gotten uh, multiple, like, call-outs uh, on Kopai's uh, social media feed. They want uh, they they want their uh, hero here to uh, talk some sense into you, Louis. I mean, he can I, try. I haven't, I haven't responded to him, because, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I, I like to keep Listen, things the, the uh, facts safe are around there. here. I've got a whole, the facts are there. I've got a whole blog about it, okay? There's... It, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Right, right, right. And uh I I didn't see you in uh any of the footage here, Louie. Do you think that they uh might have uh you out here? Eh, yeah, probably. I mean I've never been out there myself, so I well I mean not at least not to that region, so I Yeah, but you're like uh you're like the uh I thought you were like the uh the, the Luke Skywalker or the C three PO. 
I've never seen Star Wars, so I have n- absolutely no idea what the comparison is there. I'm... That, that's fair. Uh, I have the uh, question up from uh, Twitter right here. If you'd like to uh, get back the questions, huh? Um, just, just, just one more second. I do want to. I do want to just like, oh, yeah. make it clear. I got nothing against the guy. Not and uh, Charlie. I got something against, but th- that's not the point. Uh, oh. The the, the guy from there, I honestly, I forgot the name, but the redhead. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, please correct me if you're watching this. I, I don't remember your name. I'm sorry. It's been a while, but uh, n- nothing against them. Nothing against them. They're, they're fine. He was quite good. slow. Huh? Yeah, quite they, slow. They, I can only assume they've turned their life around since then because, you know, they were, they were young and stupid like the rest of us were. But the, the point is... I, they were, you know, uh, they were just that, that, uh, that, playing around. Huh? They were uh, a bit they of a horse horsing around. That, that's that's what they did back then, and I mean, everyone's done questionable things, especially when they were like a teenager. Just you, you know, it, it's everyone has flaws. Everyone has bad things they've done. That that's just what I'm saying. You know, they were. It, it's just what they did back then, and that's that's. Oh, yeah. think of the past. They're fine. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're, good. they're a good guy. Don't don't try and come after them for this. They're, they're a great person. I I uh I don't disagree with you, uh, Louis. I I don't know too much about them myself, so I uh, I uh I'll take your word for it, huh? Yeah, thank you. Lori asks uh oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, uh no problem. Or he asks yeah, on Twitter, it. what's the worst food for food poisoning, huh? The worst food for food poisoning. Um, that depends on if you're talking about the worst food for trying to give somebody else food poisoning or the worst food for getting food poisoning. Well, I, uh, I, I read their uh, question verbatim, so uh, I, I don't... There, there's a bit of a room for a, uh, interpretation, huh? Well, I mean, I'm going to assume that they're talking about the one that gives you food poisoning the most. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I don't know if there's even multiple of these things. I, as far as I know, there's been like one, maybe two-sided ever. But I think it might just be the one. Um, you see, uh, Olimar, he fought this thing. Called the Emperor Bull Blacks. That's that's what he called it. The Emperor. The Emperor Bull Blacks. You ever ever heard of it? I uh, it sounds like a uh, it's like it's related to the uh, yeah, the bull bull worms. Worms. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It's big. It's got a lot of moss on it. Mushrooms. I think it's oh, little rocks so, on the uh, back. It might be moldy like the uh, red bug too, huh? Yeah, and it's uh, it's real fat and it's real wrinkly. Like you. <laughs> Moving on. It's real fat and it's real wrinkly and its tongue is purple and it's a r- real ugly thing. Do you think it might uh, be grape flavored? The, uh, the tongue? Probably not. In fact, if most of nature on uh, Earth has anything to do with it, that probably means it's poisonous. Oh, oh. That, that probably means if you eat its tongue, you die. Which is why we didn't eat its tongue. Because I, I, I wanted to uh, n- not risk... a little risk. experiment, huh? Because oh. well, when I don't think something's going to kill me, I'll give it a shot. But I, I, looking at it, the texture and the, the color... It's, I, uh, I, it's not too pleasant, was, huh? I was pretty sure it was going to kill me if I ate it, so I uh, I didn't eat that part of it. But I see, I, did I see. Eat the Emperor Bull Blacks, and I got a I got a bit of the meat off it, and ugh, I tell you, the next day, the oh, I, I if, you, if I got up from the commode, I wouldn't have been surprised if there was a hole through it. Oh my god! It, it was a it was a rough day. Oh my gosh! Uh, for me personally, I think that uh, I, 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 if I'm a uh, so I, I mentioned that bagel diner, right? Uh, the bagel diner, uh, 
also has uh, churros. And uh, I remember one time, uh, I, I go up to my buddy, my pal Fred, who uh, works at the Bagel Diner, and I ask, hey, uh, we have your finest uh, churro chum. And uh, Fred did, uh, I didn't take too kindly to me calling him chum. I don't know uh, what it was, but uh, he gave me a churro. It looked, it looked real delectable. It, it looked good. It, it had some nice red flakes on top. I take a bite, and it's, uh, imme immediately, uh, I, I could tell something was up. I could tell something was a muck, huh? It, uh, it, it seemed to, uh, have been tampered with, and, uh, my, uh, my bowels, uh, they, they, they didn't take too kindly to be, uh, a churro, huh? You, have you ever been I, in that position? The... Your what? My uh, my ba my bowels track, huh? Oh, oh, that's not what I heard the first time. Uh -oh. I am I am so sorry, Dinkle. That is not what I heard the first time. What did you uh? What did what did what, did, what did your you, how did your ears deceive you, huh? I thought you said your balls. Oh no 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 Lord Dinkle, no! I thought no. That's I, what the grapes do. Moving on, uh, so thank Dinkle. you for the- Wait, wait, think, Dinkle. You, you, you might want to get that checked out. That's, that sounds like something you need to go to a doctor for. Uh, that, it, was, it was a while ago, and- uh, That sounds like g genuine. Thing. We'll talk about this after. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Uh, thank you for the question. Thank you for the question, Lori. Uh, I, I see you like Pikmin a lot, and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the new experience, huh? Uh, we've got a question from uh, HBH. Uh, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the, the, the Fusion War, specifically Part 3 at 4 hours and 20 minutes? I'm, I'm not quite sure what, uh, <laughs> what HBH is referring to, huh? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I heard that one. Oh, I heard that one. Louis, uh, do you know what uh, do you know what uh, uh, HVH is talking about here? What is a uh, what is a what what is a what is HVH talking about here? Huh? A fusion okay. war? Did um, they have a war on Earth? Yeah, you, you no, no, no. It wasn't a. It wasn't Fill a. Me war. in on well, it, huh? It was a war, but uh. Okay, think about it like this. Think about it like this. It was not, like, all out. They have these little figurines that have, like, these AI on them. You, you, you know what an AI I, is, right? I, 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 I hear people are uh, not too fond of AI uh, these days, huh? Oh, yeah, but it's mainly because it's doing art and stuff. And they're, they're, they they don't like how it's sort of... So you're saying uh, these uh, toys are uh, they're a bit different, huh? They're... they're, they're, they're uh... Not like the others. But to be fair, to be fair, okay, the AI that we're talking about right now is a different kind of AI. You gotta, you gotta right. teach an AI to do something. And if you, unless you programmed it to do something, it's not gonna do it. And these aren't programmed to, to do what those do. But the AI that people don't like, it's not like these ones. It's a different. All right. I see. So, uh, so there's these, like, these toys have, like, little brains in them, huh? Um, yeah, you, you know how we have all this technology, like the, the, the microphone, computer chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so th they have these little figurines, and they have, a, they have a chip in them. That chip holds some sort of data, and then you, uh, you scan the chip into some games, and it does different stuff. You, you, you know about video games, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah, video games, like, uh, like, uh, uh, like rock, I know paper, scissors. Not. No, that's a well. I mean, sort of, but except these ones are on technology. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know about video games, Louis. Yeah, I, I. Sorry, I just. I know they're not as popular over here, so I. I just had to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Not, not everybody knows. But um, the the thing about it, the thing about it, um, they you scan them into these video games and they do different things. But there's a certain one. Uh, called Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Super Smash Brothers? That, that, that doesn't sound appropriate for the podcast, Louie. No, no, like, Smash is in, like, hit something. So, like, uh... Like, like with a hammer. That sounds even worse. 
Well, and I, I, I mean, don't promote family violence on this podcast, Louis. I, I don't know if we should be talking about this. That's that's just, just video games. That's that's just how they are. Trust me. Okay, Earth I'm, Culture I'm talking you... about like violence in video games. It's it's not a new or even weird thing. That's okay. that's normal over there. All right, I'll I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Louis. You, you got to accept the culture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I I accept all culture. So the thing about it is, uh. In these video games, they they just the the game's basically just about people beating the shit out of each other, and it's a they're a, honestly, they're, they're a bit of a goons, right? They they're all goons, just uh, trying to take care of each other, huh? It's, Give each so other the work. Think think about it like that. Yeah, that that works. Um, but the the thing is, they have these they have these chips in them with the with the information, and you see, essentially. When you get any of them, it's a blank slate. It's completely fresh out of the box. Like a baby. Is, yeah. And the, the thing about it is, when you scan them into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, they are sent into the game as one of the characters in the game. Like, uh... Yeah, yeah. Like, uh... Like, uh you, you know about, like, uh, Zelda. You, you know about the Zelda series, right? Uh... The one where, uh... You saved the princess from the giant turtle, huh? Yeah. Wait, the, the what? No, the giant no, not turtle. The turtle. Oh. No, that's Mario. But I can, I can work with that. So let's say the the, the princess, the pr- princess Peach from Mario. You have a, you have an I amiibo. I thought it was Princess Zelda. Those... No, the, no, the the one from Mario is named Peach. The one from Zelda is Zelda. The one you play as, right? No, no, that's Link. You play as Link. I, I don't quite follow. Zelda is the princess. You play as a hero trying to save her. Hero? Is that from a different game? That yeah, I. Hero is a name of a character in a different series, but that's because they were just really uncreative with names. The a hero is like uh, like Olimar. He went out and I I, I don't I, I don't know if I uh, really agree with that. Uh, this Olimar guy, he seems like kind of a schmuck. I wouldn't call him a hero. Well, I mean, you can't argue with how the results that he got, what he did out I, uh, there. Was I, I, I suppose, I suppose, but uh, it's good to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we we've got these uh we we we've got these schmucks throwing hands, huh? Yeah, so um, let's say you have an amiibo of Princess Peach from the Mario series. Yeah, you yeah. put it in to the game, and you get this AI of Princess Peach from the Mario series. Does she and does you, she talk to you, or does she say anything? No, you fight her. You. Uh, you were supposed to rescue the princess, huh? Well, that's in other games. This is Super Smash Brothers. Everyone fights each other. We're all brothers. It's a, it's a, it's a fighting game. Like, uh, uh, you ever heard of Street Fighter? Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, Fred. Maybe Fred, Fred used to do a little uh, street fighting in his youth. I, I I don't mean it's it's a it's the name of a video game. Oh oh. Uh, how about Tekken? Ever heard of that one? Uh, no, I don't follow. Melty blood. Uh, that sounds it's, disgusting, Louis. It's that it, again. It's it's just games. Uh, where, where, guilty where, gear. That just doesn't make sense. How could a gear be guilty? Whatever. The, the point is, think about it. Like, yeah, like like what Fred used to do. Think think about it. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Virtual and less illegal. Have you ever been in a street fight, Louis? Yeah, one or two. Did you ever uh, come out on top, Charlie? You did, you, Charlie, have not street fought Charlie before. I, I mean, listen. If a man's gonna walk up to me, pour beer all over my pants, and then proceed to call me a bitch for telling people about something that he did that personally affected me, I'm not gonna take that sitting down. You're saying this happened between you and Charlie? Yeah, absolutely. 
I, I, I don't know if I, I don't know. Did that really happen? I, I, I never heard yeah. about this. Was it at a party or? Well, I mean, yeah, the media doesn't like to talk about it. I mean, it's, it's Charlie. No one, no one wants to hear about Charlie being an asshole. But I mean, he kind of was. And, and he beat you up, right? He uh, kind of gave you the old slobber knocker. Well, I mean, he didn't throw the first punch, but I mean, he certainly, he certainly enticed it. Then he see a, he sealed the deal, huh? He he took care of you. Give you no, some I... uh, nurturing. What? Like he took care of you, he gave you some nurturing. N nurturing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. It's like it's like yeah uh, he uh, uh he took you to the park he uh, gave he gave you a good time, uh, with his fists. Uh, no. No, oh, he didn't take care of you. He didn't. Uh... No, in fact, he lost horribly. Oh, I, he he's holy. He's a big guy. Yeah, he he is. But let me tell you this. That man does not know how to fight for shit. Okay, he's a, he's a big guy, and sure, he's he's strong. I mean, but you're a big guy as well, but I he's like bigger. Mean that much when you don't really know how to use it. I uh, I suppose uh, his fans aren't gonna be I, too happy about hearing this, but I mean, think about it. This was like before all the space travel stuff. At least, well, before my stuff. Well, not before yeah, like me. he like he came to this your was planet, before, huh? Came to this Hecate? Is before we got, uh, real popular, you know. Oh yeah. Like our our journey when we got back, it it took a while for people to recognize us. Just, you know. Yeah, real. yeah, yeah. And even then, I, I was here, and I I was, I it, it took a while before I you know, let go, retired, got all the. Got into everything I am in now, you know, and yeah, yeah, I mean, in the podcast back, and all. Yeah, so at this time when this whole street fight happened, I was still, you know, pretty small. I was a small guy back then. You're like a little runt, huh? I mean, I I guess if you want to put it like that, I was more like you. I was I was much slimmer. Well, uh, surely you weren't as uh, lanky as me. Uh, I, 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 I'm a bit tall, even for the lanky fellows. Or, yeah. I, I wasn't as lanky as you, but I was certainly rather thin for my height. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but, I, I yeah. feel like we've uh, gotten a bit off track. Uh, we were talking yeah. about uh, it, video it, games, actually, right? Yeah. It's essentially just to, to to wrap that to put a little bow on that. Yeah. People people don't like hearing about what Charlie's done, nor the fact that he got beat up. So I mean, you, you're not going to hear it publicized a lot. But he he did. You know, do you think after that? that do you think after that he uh started uh he he started practicing? He started training uh for for the rematch. I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't care. I got a restraining order on the guy. A lot people have been uh, people have been clamoring for uh, Charlie to be on the podcast. Uh, that that would be kind of difficult. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Would Dinkle. You... Yeah, Dinkle. I, 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 I love you, man. You're a great guy. You have one of the best friends I've had in my life. But if you want him on the podcast, I'm not going to stay. I, I can't be here. I can't be in the, the same place as him. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I totally understand. No, uh, let's not dwell on that. We can't. It, it, that got a little too serious. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're smashing brothers, right? I guess. It's, listen, the title, it's not very accurate to the way it's portrayed. You know, it's... It, it, I mean, there's women. There's things that don't even have male or female. Was there some? I think there was. Anyways, the point is, actually, yeah, yeah, there are things that don't have the any gender, or sex, or anything in there. 
yeah. you know and and so it's not all brothers and i mean most of the characters in there aren't even related to each other there's the point is that uh, you're just beating the shit out of people you're beating the shit out of each other and that's it it's kind of like those street fights that people get into yeah just it, sort of uh, like, uh letting loose but huh? again but again legal right the, right, the right. important part is this is legal that's, <laughs> which that, year that's fascinating yeah. so uh and toys work in this game yeah you you can you can scan in the data on these chips and the 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 point is you if you take one of princess peach you get this ai of her in the game and when you fight it uh depending on how you on how you fight her and all that you, it'll change how she learns to play she'll actually you, you teach her to fight i i see i see and how does uh how does this relate to a war huh had a well, war over this you can do that with basically any character in the game, and there's this whole thing in, uh, in some amiibo fight club or something like that. It's a uh, it's a it's a real cool place. I I haven't really talked to them myself, but I I know a guy from there. Well, I I know one guy from there. You know, he he uh, he has fond memories. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, the the thing is the thing is. Uh, back in that place, he's actually the one who told me about it. Uh, uh, Nubinator, they call him. Yeah, they, real cool guy. They call him a Nubinator? Isn't that a, a, a derogatory term? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. That's, uh, that's, that's fascinating. Really. Yeah, actually. It, uh, funnily enough, it's a self-proclaimed title, too. Which... Like if I uh, called myself a loser. Uh, I would never do that. Yeah, it's like a, it's like if I went into a fight club and pronounced my own name Bitchwad. You know, it's like it. it not only yeah. is it nonsense, it's also nonsense that's derived from a derogatory term. It's it's weird, but I mean, it, it, I don't know what to tell you. Have you ever been it. called a bitchwad? That, excuse my language, but I just gotta know. The people gotta know. No. I have never been called a bitchwad. I just made something up on the spot. So you're a self-proclaimed bitchwad, is what you're saying? No. I am not a self-proclaimed bitchwad. I'm just... Again. I, 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 <laughs> I'm pulling your leg, Louie. I'm pulling your leg. Oh, sorry. I'm, yeah. I can joke around. I can be a, I can yeah, be a little silly. I can have gaffes. I can be a fool. Yeah, I'm, it's fine. I'm sorry. I just... Uh, I'm not great at noticing these things sometimes you know so they had a they had a war over these toys and you can you explain that to me so there were these two big fighters they got real popular uh one went by the name of uh prime ape they called him like the uh pokemon yeah yeah it was named after that thing right right so it was a it was a real popular amiibo. Actually, that one was trained by the the sponsor of this uh this here podcast. The sponsor, Twitch.tv forward slash Morgan. They uh they decided to partner with uh, Air Hokitate to bring us to uh, the Earth audience. And uh, I just gotta say, I'm real thankful. Huh? Yeah, they were they they were they're cool, and that they're the one who trained this uh this prime ape. And, and uh, Prime Ape got real popular, real, real quick. It was known to be one of the best in the whole place for a while. Eventually, though, another one came along. Wasn't known to be the best, wasn't known to be too high placed in all the time, but oh boy, oh boy, was he known to be fun to watch. Bigger Mac. Uh, Bigger Mac. Uh, was this... Uh... Also trained by uh, Schmarket? Nope, that one was by the guy who actually asked the question, HBH. Oh, I, I, I see. Funniest podcast I've ever watched. Thank you, Gold. Uh, it uh, means much a lot appreciated. To us. I'm so, glad you're enjoying it. So, now, as I was saying. Uh, wait, actually, no, you go first. So, HBH trains this uh, bigger Mac. Uh, what, 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 is, what is that? What does it do? 
Uh, he uh, he's he's a real funny guy. He's he's a he fighter. Jokes? That's, uh, he's a he's, he's a bit of a stand up. He's a bit of a. He's dude. not in the. He ain't in the Fight Club to win every fight he goes into. No, he he's in the Fight Club to make you look stupid for losing. Oh, I see. So he's a he, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a jester, huh? He's a bit of a clown. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's a he's a real funny guy. Love love seeing his fights. I gotta say, I've I've seen a few videos of that place. And God, Bigger Mac, honestly, real real funny guy. So uh, what's so what's uh what's so funny about this guy, huh? Again, his his tactics they're fairly unconventional. You don't really see uh other of his kind fight like he does he's very he, he doesn't look like he's taking it too seriously and he still gets results too does he uh have anything special about him or does he just like fight funny oh one one big thing that he does uh when when he when you damage him a bit too much he turns real big oh like uh like some of the people old people on the pnf huh and I guess you could say that. Or like a, a giant bull huh? Yeah. So he is. And, uh, yeah, uh, as you can probably imagine, fighting somebody that big is uh, pretty difficult. And that's, uh, that's fair game? That's uh, part of the rules? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of things like that. Everybody there has some sort of special powers. Some of them just hit like a truck. Some of them turn big. When they get damaged, some of them turn big at the start and then get smaller as the game goes on. Some of them are metal. Some of them, some of them can just go Super Saiyan. I guess would be the best way to put it. Super Saiyan. Uh, what is uh? What what is that? Go fast, hit hard, very durable. Yeah, I I see, I see. Uh, some of them, some of them just, I who, I I tell you. There's some weird ones out there. Um, there's a few out there uh, that don't really focus on the damage. They're just real fast, real fast. They they're there to overwhelm you with their speed. They're an interesting breed, oh, yeah. right and, and they don't seem to perform the best so far. But I mean, they they might do better later. Oh, uh, it was uh, Prime Ape and. Uh... Bigger Mac, right? What was uh, what's Prime Ape's ability? Did he have anything uh, uh, special? Very similar, but when you damage him a bit too much, he turns invincible for a few seconds. It, and that's also legal, huh? Yep. Uh, that's uh, real interesting. I, I I know if I were uh, if I ever participated in one of these battles, I uh, I would probably not. Uh, too well, huh? I'd probably uh, get clapped. The, uh, the kids say, huh? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, unless you had your own amiibo to do the fighting for oh, you. No, then. no, no, no. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I could have. Hmm, you, you probably could. I mean, it doesn't seem too hard from the way it looks. I mean, I, I feel like the, the, the toy would be a uh, bit too big for me, because uh, it's like they're like toys for like big people. I feel like it'd be uh, like my size. I don't know how I'd carry that around uh, my apartment. You know what? Good point. I didn't think about that. I wonder if they'll ever uh, make an adaptation for us. Maybe, maybe. I would, I would honestly be joyous to 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 do what they're doing out there. It seems like a a fun thing to get invested with. Maybe uh, we could do it with Pikmin, huh? That's that's probably very illegal. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I, I shouldn't let uh, Olimar catch wind of that, huh? What do you? What are you implying, Dinkle? I, I feel like uh, Olimar. He 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 cares a lot about the Pikmin, right? Huh? Yeah, oh. I, I feel like if the. Uh, Heard that we were uh, plotting us to uh, have Pikmin fight. Uh, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't go over too well. So uh, I, I just have to clarify. Oh, uh, that's a that's a joke. Uh, we're we're not gonna do any fighting. 
Yeah, um, thank you. Um, I he probably would have chewed me out for that after this ended. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's Prime Mac and there's uh I'm sorry, I I meant to uh Prime Ape and Bigger Mac, huh? Uh, funnily enough, yeah, uh, they they made fusions of these two. They they and that's where I got the name, the Fusion Wars, and funnily enough, one of them is actually named Prime Mac. No way! I, I yeah, I, for real. It's I'm a, uh, I, I'm no. a bit I I am a bit of a Nostradamus, huh? And the other one is named Bigger Ape. Is it like uh? It's like uh. So I. Judging by my uh my uh common sense, bigger ape would be uh the one that gets big, right? Uh, no. Funnily enough, it's it it's uh it's weird, but for some reason they organized the uh they organized the way it was. You see, when they made these fusions, uh, essentially, they made it so the prefix actually corresponds to what character they are and the the suffix that would be whatever their ability is oh you're saying you're telling me bigger ape is not the uh one that gets big nor is he the one that's an ape i i I just don't understand is it like a dialect thing or it's the it's a poor writing decision, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. But really. So since it's bigger from Bigger Mac, it's a crocodile like uh, like Bigger Mac. I see, I see. And the ape from Prime Ape means it's a uh, critical immunity, the invincibility thing that uh that Prime Ape has. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so the thing about that is, uh, what am I saying? Uh, right. And Prime Mac, the prime means it's an ape. It's, uh, Donkey Kong, like, uh, like Prime Ape. And, uh, and, uh, the Mac means that it, uh, that it gets big, like, uh, like Bigger Mac. I, I see. I, I'm picking up what you're uh, putting down. So they, they they made these two fusions, right? They uh, fuse together, and uh, now there's two of them. Yeah, and you see, the the thing about it is that when these fusions were created, they uh, they didn't like each other too much. They weren't. Uh, they, they 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 didn't see each other eye to eye, huh? Yeah. In fact, they hated each other. So they went out and they started a whole war over it. They, they, Amiibo, of Amiibo Fight Club had to decide who they fight for, and in tournaments, it was uh, it was quite the spectacle. Yeah, and uh, I guess I should look back at the question. How does this uh have to do with uh, HBH mentions a part three? Well, the uh, it took place in five different parts, right? And right. in the third part, uh, people streamed it. Funnily enough, again, our sponsor. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Mark, they streamed it? Yeah. Ah, oh, well, uh, coincidence, huh? Why? Well, I mean, HBH was there. I would assume that he's talking about this because he's, you know, a part of the place and he wanted to know. I mean, I wouldn't call it a coincidence. I'd call it more of bias. Uh, yeah, yeah. Either way, the point is, uh, this, 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 uh, four hours, 20 minutes in part three. The, the thing is, HBH, he made a blunder. A blunder, huh? Yeah. Like a it's, mistake? I it, like, yeah? In, in Amiibo Fight Club, there's this cultural thing. Okay. Where... You, you you gas up an amiibo. That's what you call it. Uh, uh, is that appropriate for this podcast? I yes, don't know yes, if, it uh, is. Inflation it's, is. It's 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 uh, flaring their ego. That's what it means. Oh, oh I, I I see. You get them. Uh, you get them all riled up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you, know, you, you flare their ego a bit, and that's called gassing them up. And the, the thing is, Gosh. it's a cultural thing that you don't do that during a fight in, in an Amiibo fight club. Because if you do that, then it's, it's, a, it's a cultural thing. They, they, they feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to curse the Amiibo and cause them to lose. So like uh, jinxing it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Like that. And uh, the thing is, HBH, he was getting a little upset. And so uh, he, he went out and he, uh, he was looking at a match between uh, somebody and the, the guy that he, uh, uh, the, the, the bigger ape. Funnily enough, bigger ape and prime Mac were trained by the same two people that trained uh, bigger ape, or not bigger ape, uh, uh, bigger Mac and prime. It's a bit ape. confusing, huh? Yeah. Uh, so prime Mac belonged to HBH, and bigger ape belonged uh, to to Orchid. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing about it, the thing about it though, uh, bigger ape was in a match, and HBH, of course, is you know a little biased because. I mean, he owns Prime Mac. He wants Prime Mac to he, win. He wants to. Uh, he he wants people to uh, forget about Bigger Ape, huh? Sort of, yeah. And so, as this continued, uh, he was gassing up Bigger Ape, and then was like, "Oh no, it don't gas it, him right? up!" It, it and then it, realized, right? wait, actually, yeah, it's a good idea to gas him up because he wants to jinx it. So. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. That's uh, that's a bit smart. That's a uh, that's a bit clever. That's a bit. Uh, but you see, he, he was he was the problem. He he blundered while he was doing this. Yeah, he, uh, he blundered. He, he took it a little bit too far. Took it too far, huh? And in fact, I would say maybe not even a little bit. Probably, in fact, very too far. Well, what do you uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, how did uh? HBH to uh, take it to the edge, huh? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna quote him. So, uh, it, this is a direct quote. This is, I gotta make a disclaimer. This is purely for educational purposes. This, because, you know, we, we gotta teach people about the, the culture down here. So, he said, and I quote, literally have my babies. And, and that's her. That's referring to Bigger Ape? Yeah. A bigger Ape is a toy, right? That is that normal down there? Uh, no, it's uh, Is it normal to have babies with toys? No, not at all. And so he 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 makes this claim, right? He he uh he pleads he pleads Bigger Ape to have his children, huh? I was uh, I, I'm assuming it was supposed to be a uh... A joke of some kind, but or possibly just a statement that he doesn't actually mean to just, you know, flare the ego. Like yeah, we yeah. But uh, he said that during the stream, you know, on stream with all the other people who were talking there, and uh, he kind of became the laughing stock for a bit because of that. Yeah, yeah, I would, I, 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 I feel like I'm a bit sensible. I, w I wouldn't ask a toy to have my baby. Is that, is that, is that even like physically possible? No. Like I'm a bit, I'm a con bit confused, huh? I, I, listen, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it, it people, they, it, it's a, it's a weird culture down there. Uh, I see, I see. And uh, they, they say words that they don't actually mean and a lot of words that don't mean what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, they, they say a lot of words that don't mean what the words mean, if, if that makes any sense. I, uh, I suppose so. They're, uh, they're, they're uh, twisting their tongue a bit, huh? I, I guess if you want to put it like that, sure. Oh, uh, what so, happened, uh, uh, to that, yeah. The thing about it, the, the thing about it, it's a it's a weird thing, but you see, think uh, think about this. Um, what am I saying? Uh, fuck. Uh, right, right. 
So he kind of became the laughing stock of this for for his blunder at uh at four hours and twenty minutes. Does that, uh, does that number have uh, does that timestamp have any significance? Uh, it was uh, it was when the whole thing started where he ended up making that blunder. But um, four twenty, uh, you know, four hundred twenty. That's also yeah. a pretty big. Uh, pretty big number in earth culture so it's it was very fitting that it happened at that point in time what is a what, what, what does it uh represent huh? what does it mean well it's just become a very uh as of the modern day it's a big pillar of internet humor but um it originated from being a time where uh where people would go to to smoke like uh like uh if they're on fire or no like uh oh i'm, I'm sorry I, I forget you don't know these things um hey, hey I, I i i can't do research on everything you know uh, it, it, i never you, thought you we know would about... be talking about I, I i did not expect that we would be talking about uh boys having babies you know, you about, know? about weed right like like uh like how people talk about people being in a blunt rotation stuff like that Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You've uh, you've, yeah, you've yeah, talked yeah. about your uh, rotation before here, huh? Honestly, I don't remember doing that. Well, uh, I, 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 I'm sure that uh, one of our viewers can uh, look back and find the footage, huh? Yeah, probably. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, it, it's stuff like that. So. Uh, at four hours twenty minutes, HVH makes this uh blunder, and uh, what happens after that? Well, uh, it it became a common joke among the area. Every everyone over there knows about Fusion War Three Four Twenty. It's a it's a pretty big part of their culture now. They they talk about it a lot. He but uh, the, uh, he became like the the village idiot, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't say that, but in terms of that joke, yeah, a blunder of his was very popular. But I mean, I wouldn't call him the village idiot. I mean, they they still liked him, and I mean, he still proved he was still the same guy despite the despite he, the blunder. He just said something funny that he uh that that got a bit twisted, huh? Yeah, yeah, like that. I, I, I see, the, I see. The thing about it was, eventually this spawned the creation of a whole new amiibo that Amiibo. was called Big Baby. Amiibo? What is yeah. That? The, what is that? The figures. Oh, oh. I, I guess you had never, uh, what they were called up, to, up until this point. And I apologize. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And as I was saying, uh, yeah, these, uh, uh uh these amiibo uh it spawned the creation of a whole new one somebody else the the nubinator guy he uh he, he trained one to to commemorate that legendary moment uh, he called it bigger baby oh it's like uh it's a baby that gets bigger or uh no it's like bigger in bigger eight where it means crit immunity and he's a he's a baby uh, yes, he's Wait. the child of, uh, of, of Bigger Ape and HBH. Oh, you told me that boys couldn't have babies. Just don't question it, okay? I, it's I'm, it's Louis, I'm, I'm going to question it, Louie. I don't, it's I don't story understand. Telling. It's storytelling. I'm, it's storytelling, Dinkle. My brain hurts, Louie. But continue, Earth culture, continue, continue. Earth culture is weird. So it's the it's the baby of these two people, and it's ex, it's a quite the strong one. It it did a lot of things. It eventually it eventually went in. Uh, one of the legendary moments of that thing was that a bunch of the the eight best amiibo of that season of their Fight Club. Uh, He's they like all, uh, winter time, huh? It's sort of like uh, do you know about sports over there? You know, uh, mm, 
Not really, no. Yeah, I, I'm not explaining seasons to you, but essentially, think about it like seasons like winter and fall and all that, but like instead of four seasons, there's just two, and the seasons are if you're competing or if you're not. Uh, I see, I see. So, as I was saying, of that season, the eight best amiibo went into this final tournament to sort of crown one as the best amiibo of the season. The 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 problem with that was, um, you see, the the one who won it went by the name of Fat Falco. Fat Falco, like uh, like you, huh? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Funnily enough, we had the same uh, general color scheme too. Right. Blue, Dinkle. Blue, blue. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. Hey, don't I worry got... about it, Dinkle. I know you're fine. Don't don't worry about it. it, it you're good. Now the the thing is, he won, but for some reason, bigger baby hadn't even gotten top eight in a tournament yet. Much less the entire roster. He's like a he's like a literal child. Yeah, pretty much. And for some reason, he decided none of these eight, or none of these seven amiibo that were in the in the final bracket could beat Fat Falco. But he decided, let me try. Yeah, he wanted to uh, have a little scuffle. Huh? He wanted to throw hands. Yeah. So live on stream, everybody who is watching sees this literal child who's been in the fight club for like a couple months, maybe. Not even in preschool yet, huh? Nah, nah, past preschool already, I think. But, you know, this literal child walk up to who was the one, the, the freshly crowned best amiibo of the season. He goes in. Everyone expects him to get stomped. And in fact, it looks like he's gonna. Goes down to like the last uh, the last life he's got for the battle. Because the battles take place with multiple lives. You get three of them. I, uh, I see. But the thing is, he's down to his last life. His critical immunity is up. He really does just look like he's got no hope. He's got to take two whole lives, and he's only got one, and he's on death's door at that. And he's just a baby, yeah. And I shit you not, Dinkle. He actually fucking did it. He, uh, he did what? He beat Fat Falco. He beat, he, he beat the uh, king, huh? Yeah, somehow. I don't know what to tell you. He was, uh, it was quite the spectacle. That's uh, that. That's really interesting. So, um, suppose and, and that's it for the uh, fusion war. Like the moment. Uh, that's uh, all the lore I really have for you about fusion war three four twenty. Oh, uh, and HBH, uh, the questionnaire asked our thoughts on it, and uh, personally, uh. I, I feel a bit uncomfortable after hearing that story. It seems like there's a lot of uh, familial issues going on with those three. Uh, what about you, Louis? Um, personally, for me, I I'm not as uh, I don't know how to put it. I don't want to say sensitive because that makes uh. You're makes taking me for a soft guy. No, no, I'm I'm not. Uh, it's not sensitive. Sensitive is not the word I'm looking for. And I, I almost want to say xenophobic. If that's excuse me, the 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 word it's a the, the xenophobic. It means fear of uh, fear of. Mm, I would. I think aliens. No, no, I'm the, I'm sure that's not what that means. That's like uh the things things that like aren't of your familiarity. 
I, I, I suppose that makes a bit more sense, but uh, I don't uh, believe that's what that means. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not. Um, Are you calling the, me a the, xenophobe? I, I, I was trying to say that that's not the word I would use, but it's the, the word that comes to mind. I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is you're not very acclimated to, to things of uh, other cultures. You, you don't really understand. So, Louis, I, I, maybe you're right that I uh, don't understand, but uh, I love all cultures, okay? Yeah, I, I get it. But I just... It, 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 being afraid of something, it, it doesn't mean that there's... that you. I, I'm not necessarily afraid. I just, uh, I don't, my, I, I can't really, uh, my mind can't really, uh, wrap around it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. like people having babies with toys, it's, uh, Listen, it, it, okay. it boggles it, it makes my mind. A, it, it makes a lot more sense when you see it. I, I'm not sure I want to see it, but, uh, you, you gotta, I, you gotta be there to understand. I, I'll take your word for it. Really. The, the point I'm trying to make here is, you, you're not very well acclimated to, to things that aren't of our culture. That, that's what I mean. I mean, I would love to, uh, to, to broaden my horizons, but uh, I'm not sure I want to start with boys having babies. I gotta be honest. You know what? Good point. Oh, uh... Personally, this this whole moment, this whole thing that happened, this whole saga, this idea, this, this whole uh, spiel, huh? It was a very interesting thing to see. I, I did some research on it. It was a, honestly a phenomenal thing to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, is there anything you would like to uh, talk about before our next question? Uh, we've we we we've still got a few. Honestly, I don't even know what to talk about. If you bring something up, I'll try and give my input. But just play to the it. questions, then. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Mol four five six asks: Would you rather run for ten million miles or eat ten million sandwiches? Ah. Uh, I know Louie's answer for this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You sure do, buddy. I love food. I love food. Give me the sandwiches any day of the week. Let's say, uh, let me, uh, let me twist MLL's, uh, question a bit here. Uh, let me, uh, would you run, would you run 10 million miles to eat 10 million sandwiches like you have them at the end would you uh would you be able to last that long no absolutely not it's like uh, that's like uh enough sandwiches for life huh dinkle you gotta understand this i am a pretty important person when it comes to our history so far i've i've done things out there i yeah. if i wanted 10 million sandwiches I could buy 10 million sandwiches. Yeah, but... I'm uh, probably broke after, but I, I could buy 10 million sandwiches. Oh, uh, now with our uh, budget, you can't. <laughs> you, you're still a bit, uh, a bit controversial, if I, if I gotta be honest. Like, Olimar, uh, I imagine he could buy 10 million sandwiches, but uh, I don't know if Red at the Bagel Diner would... Uh, Make ten million sandwiches for you, Louie. I, I I gotta be honest. I get it. I'm not. I, I, there's a lot of stuffs happened after everything you've said. After your uh, after the president's scandal, all all of that. A, a, a small price to pay for the truth. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not putting you down there for that, but but. You know, ten million sandwiches. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know what I would do. I ten, ten million miles. That uh, that, listen, that Dinkle, seems like Dinkle, a lot. Dinkle, yeah, Dinkle. You got to understand. Think about this, Dinkle. Do you know how long a mile is? 
it's uh it's like uh like from that edge of the room to the other huh? no are we talking hockitation miles or dinkle miles are a thing that are used on earth and you oh. know what's what makes that even worse dinkle oh dinkle wait Miles, a mile is a pretty long distance to travel for the people of Earth. If we tried to go, if we tried to walk 10 million of those from the moment we were born to the moment we died without like, even without like eating, drinking, sleeping, if we could just keep going as we grew and everything, we would probably die before we made it to the end. That that's horrible. Well, in that case, are the sandwiches earth sized? I could only assume so. Uh, that doesn't sound like too bad of a deal, huh? I mean, yeah. I mean, he didn't have to say it. He didn't say I had to do it all in one sitting. So, I mean, uh, I, honestly, I might that much in my life anyway. Well, did say uh, run for ten million miles or eat ten. Sandwiches. I think I'm perfectly comfortable with the 10 million sandwiches. Although I feel like I ought to have to invest in a warehouse to keep the sandwiches, and some of them might spoil. And uh, maybe that in and well, of I mean, itself. I, you I, gotta commit to eating every last one of them. I mean, that's the whole point of it. I, I suppose so. I, I, it's just like, do they get rotten? Do they spoil? Or why have no, to... Let's assume not. Let's assume that. Let's assume that he's not trying to kill us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, Abels, uh, asks, where has Dwayne the Rock Pikmin been? Uh, Louis, I think this is a question for you. Well, um, you see, Dwayne the Rock Pikmin is, uh, uh p p purely hypothetical. Y you know, yeah. they, they it doesn't doesn't really exist, you know. You gotta you gotta remember that he's. I mean, of course, I wouldn't keep a Pikmin here. That that's that's illegal. Uh, he he must have seen the uh the when you talked about it last time when uh, we brought up the minions, huh? Yeah, yeah, we were uh, we were talking about. The, the hypothetical the hypothetical Pikmin, Dwayne the Rock Pikmin. You know, if if I were to bring a Pikmin here, you know, I'm I'm not saying I have, but you know, if it were to happen, you know, it would have been him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh when's the last time you've uh, seen this uh purely hypothetical Dwayne, huh? Uh honestly, pretty recent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just before I came out here to the studio. So, JA9K and Staples have a, uh, two similar questions. Uh, have um, you... Wait, well, before that, I, I do think I got to touch up on that last question a little better, though. Oh, yeah? Um, it, it, if, if, if he were to be real, you know, D Dwayne the Rock Pikmin, if he did exist, you know, that, that, purely hypothetical scenario in which Dwayne the Rock Pikmin was real. You know, if he were real, he would be, you know, chilling. A uh, real big fan of bananas, I'd say. Eating a lot of those lately. Oh, yeah? Bananas? Uh, uh, also, banana on, a, on a similar note, he has been getting a little rowdy, you know? Trying to I think the I think I think the that the hypothetical Pikmin is going through whatever the Pikmin equivalent of puberty is. Oh yeah. Seems to be getting a little uh, antsy. Oh yeah. I I believe that's uh, normal for uh Pikmin to go through puberty, huh? I I can only assume so. Oh, uh, back to uh, back to uh, the next question. JA nine K and Staples have two similar questions, so I'm gonna lump them together. Uh, JA nine K asks, 
Have you two had a traumatic event in your lives? And Staples asks, Dingle, do you have a tragic backstory? Oh, I, uh, I'll let you touch up on this, Louis, since, uh, you, 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 you're a bit more experienced than I am. I, with, uh, storytelling, I might have to, you know, come up with an answer. Uh, D D Dinkle. Yeah? I, I can't just tell your story. I no, mean... no, no, no. Uh, JA9K asks, have you two had a traumatic event in your lives? Uh, that's, the, that's the question I was referring to. I apologize. Oh, sorry. Uh, does he mean one like where we're together, or like, uh, just, or either of us? Well, have you two had a traumatic in your event in your lives? Uh, uh, that said verbatim, and I, I, I don't specifically remember any traumatic events we've shared together, except for uh, our arguments with uh, corporate. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, uh, not to, not to, not to throw dirt on air hoke or anything uh, they're, wait, they're wait, wait, great uh, hey wait dinkle yeah i you know i i know you let a little bit loose that day so i'm i'm assuming you probably don't remember but it, it, you remember that time we got drunk you know uh speaking of uh drinking uh gamer gabe and redeems drink for 300 points go ahead and take a drink gents thank you gamer gabe and I think I, uh, uh, I think I might do that. I've never heard of you in my life, but she is mate. <laughs> All right, uh, I suppose I'll go get a drink. Uh, Louie, you need a drink? You need anything? Uh, maybe a margarita? <sighs> Orange juice? No, no, no. None for me today. All right, well, <laughs> uh, I'll be go getting a drink. Uh... Louis, uh, I guess, entertain the audience. Maybe t touch a bit on your uh, that event that JA Nine K asked about. Okay, uh, here back. Alrighty, have a good one out there. So, um, as we were saying, uh, have you you guys ever heard of the, the story of Dionysus? You see. Um, Dionysus, this weird guy, uh, uh, an Earth culture thing. So, um, the thing about it is, Dionysus, he's a, he's a weird guy. But somehow, he's some sort of love child between a god and some random human woman, which is weird. But, I mean, I, I guess it happened. Dionysus, you see, uh... His mother, well, not his mother, but his stepmother, I guess. The 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 god that uh, this this his father was uh, was married to. You see, she didn't like that her uh, her uh, her her man was having an affair. So she tried to she tried to kill not only the the girl but also the kid. But Zeus. This guy, he took the kid. He took the kid out of the woman and put it in his thigh. Does that work biologically? I, I guess it does for gods. They just kind of get to do what they want. Biology doesn't really matter. Right, I'm back. Uh, did I uh, um, miss, miss anything? So, you see, the, the thing about it is this, uh, this guy so grows up in this god's thigh. And for some reason... Uh, um, I, I, you can just walk out. So Zeus lets him out. He just goes out, does his own thing, and uh, is so, this one of your friends. Or I, I'm sorry, I just got back. I, I uh, got some. This is uh, this is human mythology. Human mythology, yeah. And yeah, must have done a lot of research. I, uh, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you continue. So uh, he, uh, Zeus lets this. This kid of his had uh, come out of his thigh, which is to be grew up in there, matured to adulthood, and he walks out. After the so, toy birthing thing, I don't, I don't, even, I don't think I even want to ask, huh? Hera, Hera, this this lady is like, damn, I tried to kill that kid, and for some reason he's back. Fuck that, and decided to try and kill him again, because if it doesn't work once, just do it again. For some reason, and so uh, she she does this, and this guy just 
split into these into these pieces, into these tiny pieces. And you see his grandma, you know, mother of Zeus, and I think also Hera, which is hey, weird. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, they're, they're married, but I'm also pretty sure they're siblings. I, like I said, I'm not gonna, ex- like, if, like, history, if yeah, Earth history is weird, like myth- mythology must be like, uh, I'll let yeah, you continue. I, I apologize for interrupting. So, so, apparently, his grandma looks at that, and she, she doesn't like that very much, you know? She she likes having alive grandchildren. So, uh, I, I don't know how, why she thought this would work, but she picked up the pieces and put them back together. Like a, like a puzzle, huh? <laughs> yeah, sort of. And for some reason, it works. And he's alive again. So he goes out and he does his own thing. And I I couldn't tell you why. But it, it, it just works. I um, see. Ooh. Is there anything else to the, this uh, enthralling story? So... Continuously, or something. Uh, the point is, they, they, this keeps going, okay. And for some reason, I, I don't know why, but th- this guy, he, he keeps on doing his own thing. And Para once again looks at him, realizes that kid that she killed twice is alive. It is very clearly not killed, which is, you know, not a thing that she likes. A big old so, uh, red flag, huh? She decides, fuck this. I'm sick of this shit. And just decides if she can't kill him, she'll turn him insane. So, this now insane demigod, created as the spawn of Zeus, Goes and walks around the earth. I I couldn't tell you what he did at that time. I couldn't find much information on that. But he, he's walking the earth. He's doing his own thing. And he eventually just snaps. Just snaps out of it. Don't know how. No explanation. He's just no longer insane for some reason. And... He finds his way to Olympus, you know, where all the gods live, and they they just let him in. Uh, unlike they just, most uh, demigods, fuck the family, yeah. Unlike most demigods, Dionysus was allowed to join Olympus and become a god. That's I don't fine, know how that huh? works, but they they let him, and I, I assume it's because he avoided death from the most powerful goddess three times, you know, that would make sense. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I certainly wouldn't want to have uh, have somebody with that kind of capabilities walking around that has some sort of grudge against me for not letting him in, you know? I would uh, I would be a little scared if that was, uh, um, well, that was my predicament. Oh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, hey. You were gone, so I figured I'd entertain him with the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I suppose it's about time to uh, uh, answer the question. Uh, traumatic events, huh, Louis? Any ring a bell on your uh, travels? Uh, do, you, do you remember that time we went, we, that, uh, that we got drunk together? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was, uh, it was the, it was the, the booze, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, the booze. Um, so, I don't know if if you saw it, but I, I think somebody put a little something in mine. Wait, 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 Louie, was this the, uh, the, the boozy blues? The, the, yeah. Oh, oh, I, I remember that, Louie. I'll, I'll let you continue, but no, I know what you're talking about. I, I, think some, uh, I think somebody... Uh, slipped something in mind because uh, I was seeing some weird stuff. I was 
Uh, I was seeing weird stuff too, Louis. Uh. Did Did you see like that the asshole on the wall? Uh, uh I, I I didn't want to think about it, but yeah, no, you, no, I remember, I I remember it. It looked it looked like it was spewing uh spewing stuff out of it not like uh not like the uh gaba lagu like when you gotta you know like sit on the john i I'm, no it was like little babies huh little uh legless babies and they were trying to bite me like did, did you see that louis um i i don't know i i i think i'm trying to forget about that but uh i saw something like that yeah yeah yeah, ever... I think I saw that uh, that weird uh, fake Olimar somewhere in that day. No, sure, surely. Uh, no, that was on your travels, wasn't it? I, I mean, yeah, but I, I yeah, yeah. Are you telling me you saw it again? I certainly didn't see anything like that. I, I think I think this time it was just a hallucination, you know. The, maybe, the, the, maybe the, yeah, coming back because you know, I mean, I was in a pretty bad situation i'd say we both were you know considering i mean clearly somebody slipped something into our drinks do you know who it might have been really not uh i know fred was there but uh i don't fred wouldn't treat me like that huh I, uh, fred's I mean, a nice guy a friend of yours is a friend of mine so i'd assume so i'd assume he's fine i, I who else was there there was ken there was kentucky I I never really liked the cut of that guy's jib, but uh, I don't I don't know if he would have slipped something in our drinks. Huh? I swear to God, if I find out Charlie was at that party, I'm gonna fucking bash somebody's head in the wall. Oh no, it, it wasn't Charlie. Charlie was uh, doing that charity fund on Kofi. Charlie does that. Yeah, he he Charlie he's do does charity funds. He, he's donated millions to uh, homeless shelters on Kofi. He doesn't seem like the type, honestly. Well, maybe it's because you've got such a hate boner for him, you know? Not to, well, not to dig at you or anything, but uh, he is I mean, uh, pretty it. charitable. Charitable, I, I think... I, uh, I get it. It's not... It doesn't mean much coming from me, because, you know, I'm the, the guy who's... Yeah, yeah. I think the people on uh, you know, Earth have... About him. But I mean, like, like that, too. I mean, think about it. This This man openly tried to humiliate me before I'd even, like, talked about the stuff he'd done. Like, in a, in a public setting. Like, that was... And, like... He, the, the, not to mention the stuff that I'm actually, like, calling him out on. Like, I, I mean... It, you can see how I wouldn't expect that to be, like, the, the charity type, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, people love him. I think the, uh... People of Earth have someone like that too. I think his name is uh, Jimmy or something. Jimmy, Jimmy Beast. Uh, do not, do not compare Jimmy Beast to Charlie. Do do not put that disrespect on his name. Uh, 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 sure, sure, Louis. But um. Yeah, do I have a tragic backstory? No, I I lived a pretty normal life. I got kicked out of my house pretty early. Uh, worked a ton of odd jobs, but then uh, uh, I stayed at Fred's for a while. He he kicked me out too. Uh, uh but you know, uh, living on the streets ain't too bad. And I uh got this uh, little uh, dainty apartment and the uh, the recording booth, and I uh, started uh started doing podcasts and uh one day uh louis sent me an angry call and then i was like uh, come catch these hands louis and he joined the podcast and we uh had a little debate and uh he uh he's never left since yeah i gotta admit i wasn't too happy with the stuff you were saying at the start but honestly i, I grew respect after that whole uh incident for you oh yeah yeah uh, you, you smashed my most prized painting, but uh, I, I I can mark that. Uh, sorry about that one, by the way. Uh, it's it's uh, it's no it's no it's no big deal. 
I, but listen, I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I, I'm, I'm trying to save up to get that replaced. That, that was years ago, Louis. Ah. I know. Listen, okay. They, I have money. It's hard making more money. Okay, they, 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 not a lot of job opportunities I considering the, the controversies. I, I don't think you can understand, though. You can't, you can't replace a memory like that. I, I get it. I, I can't replace the memory and all that. I, I'm just... I'm... Look, let's, let's move on from it. Uh, yeah. we, we've got a couple more questions. Um, this is oh, actually uh... a... What's Wait, up? Real, real quick, real quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I ever concretely answered the question. Um, essentially, what I'm saying is that situation with the, somebody put stuff in a drink. I'd say that's that was pretty traumatic. That the wall butthole specifically was very traumatic. But honestly, I'd say like other than that, it'd have to be the uh, the fiend incident. You know, the the one I talked about on one of our. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were walking through, like, I was walking through the fog, trying to get back to the ship pretty late at night. Well, not at night, but, you know, it was close to night. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the little, it looked mm -hmm. like Olimar, but it was just like a silhouette. Yeah. Just in there, and then this big old thing. This big old thing behind it. Mm -hmm. It sounded like there was some sort of Pikmin in its mouth is something that was still alive. And the, the, the feet that were like, God knows how far apart. Eyes were hollow. I, 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 I whatever. That, that's, let's get off that topic. Yeah. The point is, you, you can watch the previous one for the full description. It was, oh, you know, yeah. I, I'd say when I saw that thing, that thing was, uh, it's, I'd call that pretty traumatic. Mm hmm. So, uh, somebody actually made a rendition of it uh, after that podcast, but uh, I don't have the uh, image on me right now, unfortunately. Maybe in post. Maybe in post I will add it. I wish I could find it. Honestly, I'd, I'd like to see if it looks anything like what I described. Oh, yeah. So... We actually have a question from our sponsor, uh, Orchid from uh, twitch.tv forward slash schmarkid in partnership with Air Hook at Date. Uh, Orchid asks, Louis, thoughts on this observation? And I'm going to throw up the image on here. Uh, it is an image of a, what well, seems to be like a uh, research. Uh, it, uh, the, qu the query on top is, what does plutonium taste like? And I don't know what plutonium is per se, but uh, the answer seems to be plutonium has a very candy-like taste. Very sour, though not overly so, and it is really sweet. I suppose Orchid wants your uh, input on this uh, on on this finding. Uh, have you ever tried plutonium? Mm, I uh, had a little bit of it, not not too much. Um, you, you see. I'm sort of on this quest. It was something I put on my bucket list. In hindsight, it was pretty stupid, but I'm I'm committing. You're committing, huh? You uh, uh you don't step down for no one, huh? You see, my goal was to taste as many things as I could in my life. You know, I wanna I wanna see what all flavors I can find. I I see. And I mean, my hope is to make some kind of discovery. You know, something like, revolutionary. Like a like a like a new delicacy, huh? Yeah, maybe. And uh you're telling me you had this uh this uh plutonium, huh? Yeah, not too much. I it, I mean it's uh I would assume it, it seems pretty dangerous to eat more than just a little tiny little bit, but why 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 do you say that? Huh? Um I don't know. I honestly don't remember too much about it. I just remember hearing that it was uh, associated with danger. Ah, oh, like a uh, pivot on the edge, huh? Uh, like a pepper? Ice pepper? No, I mean like actual like danger, like kill you kind of stuff. Ah, so like uh, I, I don't know what kind of equate to. I've never had anything that, I, that has killed me before. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I would hope not. Yeah, me neither. It, it, it didn't kill me. It wasn't, it was uh, very... I, would, I hope it wouldn't have, because uh, you're standing right here. Um, but the, the thing was, it was honestly pretty good. It was, I liked it. it. Definitely not the worst thing I've had. I wouldn't say it's the best. Oh, yeah? Candy's kind of worn off on me throughout the years, you know? It's great and all, but, I mean, eventually, the... What the fuck? Uh, uh Lily, you're, uh, looking a little... Uh, how do I... How do I put this? You're looking a little, uh... Yeah, I, I can see that. Green. I'm looking at my thumb right now. I can see that. Green, green with envy, huh? Like the uh, red bug. Uh, 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 I gotta ask, how long ago did you uh, eat this plutonium? Uh, uh, um, uh, um, they, they go. Yeah? Think I might need to go to the hospital. Uh, it seems I, he got. Huh? What? I'm. What? Uh, you look fine to me now. Uh... Dinkle. Louie. Dinkle. Louie, what was that? Dinkle, what the hell just happened? I, why are you asking me? You're the one that turned Be green. Because you're the one who sort of, you know, just, I, I, I've I'm... just been here this whole time. I've been, I've just been asking you the, the, if you ate plutonium, or Orchid asked you if you ate plutonium. And you, well, you told me you did. Yeah, you did. I mean... and then you turned green all of a sudden. I don't, I don't, and then you're not green. I, I don't understand, Louis. Plutonium. 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 Consumption of plutonium. Consumption of plutonium. Damn it! I thought I thought that might activate it again. I don't know what, I don't know what caused that actually. I I wonder why I only just turned green now. I had that like a couple of weeks back. Uh, maybe it was uh, finally being digested or something. I don't know. Maybe. This has been a very, it was very, it was very quick. But uh, m moving on. Uh, that, that's we'll we'll look back on the footage later. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, we'll we'll get you checked out. See if uh, you need to. Uh, uh, Thank think, you. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. So, uh, last question in the uh, channel. It's from Orchid again. Uh, if you could have any guest on the podcast, who it would who would it be? And, uh, uh, do Do you know if it's like anyone from the Earth, anyone from Hokitate, anyone? I think they just mean anyone in general. Like who? Like you, know, Louis. Who Who would you want uh, be sitting in between us, talking on the podcast? Let, let's assume, but for the sake of this, okay, that we we can't have fictional creatures here. You know? Yeah, only real, like only real people, like uh, Olimar or. Uh, Maybe that Wolf O'Donnell guy, huh? Um, I don't know about Wolf. I I don't have any beef with him or anything. I've just, you know. Uh, uh Wolf seemed a bit scared of uh you last time. If my memory serves me right, from what I've heard. He is. I uh, well, this was a long time ago. I think uh, you two like made up together after that. I think Orchid might have just been the catalyst. Huh. That's, uh... That's yeah, I, one. Like... Like, uh, Wolf was, uh, asked to make a cake or something? If I remember correctly? Uh, yeah, the, the disregarding Wolf. Uh, I don't know if Wolf would... Wolf's a big fella. He's a big guy. He's a... He's a bit scary if I'm, uh... Being honest, but Wolf is uh, his own guy. He's, he's his own he's guy. Probably... He uh, he he follows his own path, you know. Yeah, he he probably wouldn't sit too well with stand down here with us for a bit, you know. Oh yeah. Besides, I yeah, I don't think we have any chairs that can uh, do them. Well, I mean, clearly we we could just do I some mean, of this stuff. Like, I've, I've got the why. 
we could take it right? somewhere else. I, I've got the I've got that beanbag chair over there. You see that beanbag chair? I I was just gonna say, you know, maybe get somebody to do it from online. You know, like I I feel like I feel like it, it would make more sense for a uh, wolf to come see us in person, but uh, online we'll have to do with uh with uh, bigger people. Yeah, bigger people. Or maybe, uh, maybe if uh, okay, take technology advances enough, maybe we can come up with some sort of uh, shrink ray. Have you heard about that? Uh, some of the oh some God. of the research uh, shows that uh, there's like a shrink ray being made. You know, shrink no, ray I'm, being I'm made. Heard of that. Oh yeah. So. Assuming, for the time being, uh, Wolf is out of the question, but maybe other people are in the question. Who who would you uh, want to bring on this podcast? Um, I'm not certain. Probably, uh... Mm. I'm thinking, maybe... I, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Olimar would be a fun one because um, uh, I like the guy. Well, He's... you know, you you know, my 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 impressions of Olimar haven't been uh, too great lately, but uh, maybe that would uh, make sense. You know, maybe uh, uh, maybe I gotta meet the guy in her. You know, maybe I gotta see the cut happened? of his ship. Did something happen with him? Well, what you've been telling me about this Olimar guy, uh, like how he plays by the books, uh, uh, how he's straight and narrow, uh, he just seems like kind of a schmuck. No, no offense, Captain Olimar. I know you're a great, you're a, you're a great successful guy. It's just, uh, but maybe I would be down to uh, sitting him down and you know getting and, and uh, ask the hard hitting questions. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, I would love to to see that sometime soon. I, I really do. I I want you to know him like I do. He's a he's he's a swell guy, and I I want you two to get along. You two haven't talked in a, a long time, though, huh? Like uh, been oh, a few years. No, we've uh, we've kept up. In are, occasional you, chats. are you sure? Yeah, I remember the other day you sent me you showed me a text message between you and him, and the last time he messaged you was a few months ago. It was like just like an emoji. I think it was like a sandwich. That D- Dinkle. He had to scroll up a bit just to get that message. Dinkle. It was like just you messaging him Dinkle. a lot. Like... You, you do, Dinkle. You do know that we could meet up with, without it being a text, right? Yeah, but he's like he's always surrounded. You know, he's a successful guy, right? People love him. He's. He he's always being swarmed by paparazzi, and you know uh, you're not you're you're not too. I mean, I love you guy, but not too lovable by the masses, you know. But so like I I get the feeling that Olimar like hasn't caught up with you, but he's you know, a he's a punctual guy. Okay, very punctual. If there's a problem, then he'll tell me. But if I tell him, hey, we should meet up somewhere. We're good friends. We've known each other for a long time. If I say, hey, we should meet up here, I, I know him. I know how he works. If he if he wants to go, he's going to left me on red. He's not going to say anything back. He's just going to see it, note it, and say, yep, I'll be there to himself, but not to me because he doesn't take the time to do that. He's, he's a, again, punctual. Now, it, it, right? sound, it sounds rude when you, you don't know him, and it sounds... It seems rude when you haven't talked to him for too long, but if once you like, once you know him, you know who he is, you know how he works. It, it makes more sense. I, I I sure I sure hope so, Louis. If I tell him, hey, we meet up here, then he's gonna look at it, and he's either gonna see that he can't meet up at that time, and he's gonna tell me he can't meet up at that time, or He's going to close the message and then leave me to assume we're meeting up there. And we do. 
Have you ever been in his uh, limousine? A couple of times, not often, but yeah. I, I, I it's just uh, believe in that, but you know, I, I, I take your word. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word. I'm, mean, I'm sure you and uh, Super Rich Olimar uh, are good friends, huh? Yeah, we are. And uh, I know you've been like not too good financially. I haven't either. But you've never thought to ask Olimar for a little help or like a job or something. It seems well, weird if you two are good pals, but he hasn't really been uh, helping you, huh? Dinkle. Dinkle. I. What? When did? What? When did I say I wasn't doing good financially? Oh, well. Uh, you said you had money, but like not a lot, and uh, our, our our budget for this show is not too great either. But uh... do, do we need a bigger budget? I mean, I can I, mean, I can help that. I, no, you no, 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 you're totally fine. Uh, you don't have to do anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I I told you, I no, I have no, money no, it's fine. To do what I need. It, I I mean, it's not easy, but I can make more. To, to do other things too, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, you know, whatever. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, What's up? Let's. Let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's get back to the point. Oh, um, yeah. I mean. It, he helps when you know. He helps when he, he helps. Will. He's like a he's his own guy. He he he'll he'll help me if I need the help. I would he hope does. so. You know, uh, it, I, 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 I he I mean he's offered. Believe me, he has. He has told me he could do a lot. He's he told me about some things that he he could help with. He's told me about what he could get for me, what he could do for me, what he could give to me. But I, you're, it, you're it's a big not guy. always about living easy, you know. Yeah, it, yeah. For me, I I live by what I have, and I'm I'm I don't like taking help on keeping myself afloat if I don't have to. Oh yeah. To me, that just feels wrong. That feels like I'm taken from somebody else's success, and I don't want that. Oh, we both sure. got success from our from our trip out there, and I'm taking my part of it. I'm taking Your what I did, tiny part of it. what I got from it, and I'm taking, and I'm living well with it. I'm I got a good place. I got good food. I got a good life. It's it's good. Oh yeah. Seems like uh we're almost on time for our podcast. We've uh we we got through all the questions uh, uh which is surprising. We actually uh managed to meet the time this time around. Uh usually we have nothing to talk about, but we managed to pat it out and uh, that's actually uh impressive, huh? Usually yeah, I, usually I, I, the people at Air Hoka take chew, chew me out for it and I have to be like Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Air Hokate, I'm so sorry. It's blah, blah, blah. You know what? We got the job done. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, is there anything else you want to... Oh, that reminds me. Uh, today is actually a, a holiday on Earth. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I was doing oh, research. Uh, yeah, I've heard. I've heard. It was, uh, uh, it's the, the, the first of April, they like to call it, I believe. Uh... Uh, they they call it uh, April Fools. April Fools, huh? Yeah. And they like they like to play jokes on each other, right? Yeah, yeah. And then they say the first of April. No, they they say April Fools. A April Fools. Do they just have more fools in April? Like, uh, is it all no. month, or is it just the day? I don't know, but uh, that it's just on the first of April where they they play pranks on each other a lot. Ah, so uh, I wanted to uh, commemorate this. I, I I know we don't uh, celebrate uh, 
the, the holidays from other uh, planets or cultures a lot. But I wanted to uh, I wanted to play a little prank on you today, uh, Louis, in commemoration of Earth's uh, April the first, April Fools. Oh well, that's uh, that's sweet of you. That's, that's sweet to hear. So uh, I, uh, I I uh, I decided to uh, pull a little prank on you if that makes uh makes a little sense uh saw your briefcase lying on the floor and uh i i, I thought hey it would be funny if uh, i did a prank on you that was uh i i opened the briefcase thank uh, and i was like what's up Dinkle, what Dinkle, what did you do i uh i uh, they go. Uh, they go. What uh, did you do with my briefcase? What, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne is getting real awful close to the camera. Uh, uh Louis, stop him. Uh, uh d- hey, come on, get over here. Bang, boom, bang, hey. boom, bang, boom. Uh, d- 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 Louis, uh, d- d- go. I got bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. D- just get down. Get down. Hey, bang, boom, bang, boom. I'm getting out of here, Louie. Bang, boom, bang, boom. I'll get this under control. Just give me a minute. Dwayne. 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 Bang, boom, bang, boom. Dwayne, you okay? Bang, boom. But listen, I know. Okay, you shouldn't have touched the briefcase, but you, you didn't have to do that. I, I get it. Okay, I know. It's your briefcase. I, I know. Just... I know. Okay, just please. Just... Can you... Why are you getting closer? I know. Do you want a hug? Do, do, do you want snacks? I, I can... I know. What? Oh. Jeez! Oh, hey, hey, calm, calm, calm. Are, are you calling him down, Louie? Just, just give us a minute, Dinkle. My room, my room, ah, look at Louie. Dinkle. My room, my room. Ah. End, end the podcast for us, Louie. Yeah. Okay. My room, um, my room. How, listen, we're we're gonna we got a little bit of a situation over here we'll cut it out in post you guys won't have to worry about it but um that's, <laughs> that's My gonna hairline. have to be that's <laughs> oh god that's gonna have to be all for today guys uh i hope you all have had a swell april fools and i hope that everything's going well over there please have a splendid day, and I hope to see you all on the next episode I know. of Air Hope Eight. I know. Um, I know. Cut! 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 Cut the feed!